Tip number 27. Use at least two monitors. And now I can see some people saying, oh, this tip is boring. It has nothing to do with hardware design. And <laughs> but I think it's important, okay? Especially if uh, someone is still using only one monitor, it's very important to explain that it is much, much better if uh, if people are using two monitors for hardware design, okay? It is, it's not like two times better. It is like hundred times better, okay? You can have, for example, what? You can have schematic on one monitor like this, yeah? And then you can have PCB on the other monitor. And you can very easily browse between the schematic and the PCB. You can have data sheet on one monitor, and the schematic on the other monitor. You can have a reference schematic, your schematic. You can very easily compare it. It's much better, okay? And I, I'm saying I really needed to say this because sometimes I have to work on laptop with one monitor on one screen only. And uh, it's like, oh, once you start using two monitors, there is no way going back to using one monitor because it's so much better. Yeah. So if in your work you still have only one monitor, ask your boss to buy you the second one. If uh, even at home, if you are using one monitor, I'm pretty sure once you start <laughs> using two monitors at work, you will be thinking like, oh, maybe I should buy second monitor uh, for my home computer too. Even now, I uh, because I moved to California, I still only run everything from my laptop. I have my laptop screen from the laptop and I bought two monitors which are connected to the laptop. It was one of the first thing, things what I've done. I bought the monitors. In my office where I used to work before. Yeah. Uh, I miss this office. Four monitors. You don't need four monitors but two monitors for hardware design are essentials. So don't forget tip number 27, use at least two monitors. Why? It's much more comfortable during hardware design. You can open schematic in one monitor and PCB in the second.